Hey everyone, in this 4 minute video for developers, we are going to see why do we need proxy endpoints. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apigee Edge account, you can register at apigee.com slash edge. You need basic understanding of Apigee API proxy, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. As you know, Apigee Edge sits in between the client and the backend system where you can create API proxies. Apigee API proxy is divided into proxy endpoint and then target endpoint. Using the proxy endpoints, you can able to create different experiences of APIs. You can have multiple proxy endpoints within a single API proxy. For example, you can have slash v1 slash echo as API proxy based path for echo proxy. You can also have slash v2 slash echo as an endpoint for the same echo proxy which talks to a target like HTTP pin. You can able to modify the request response whenever the API call comes to slash v1 slash echo or slash v2 slash echo. So you can use proxy endpoints to create different kinds of APIs for the same target uh, endpoint or same backend service. Let's see it in action how proxy endpoint works in Apigee Edge. We're going to create a simple API proxy to demonstrate how proxy endpoint works and how you can leverage to create new kind of APIs for the same backend. I'm going to click on press proxy to create a new proxy and choose reverse proxy as a proxy type. Click on next. So I'm going to name my proxy as uh, p demo one proxy endpoint uh, demo one, and uh, name the base path as slash v1 slash echo, and I'm going to give the existing API as HTTP bin dot arc slash get. So every proxy endpoint has a unique proxy base path. So it is going to create a proxy endpoint called default, which will have proxy base path slash v1 slash echo. So click on next, choose authorization as pass through. Click on next, choose defaults and build and deploy. Once API proxy is deployed, uh, access the proxy overview screen to see the proxy endpoint. As you can see, we have a proxy endpoint here, slash v1 slash echo. When we make an API call, we see the typical HTTP bin response from HTTP bin.org. So let's go to the develop screen and uh, see the proxy endpoint. As you can see, there is a default proxy endpoint which has a base path of slash v1 slash echo. It is enabled in HTTP and HTTPS mode. Let's add one more proxy endpoint and create a new API to modify the API behavior or expose a new kind of API from the same backend. So click on plus sign next to the proxy endpoint and then choose the proxy endpoint name. Let's uh, say as uh, v2 echo and then click on add. As you can see, now we have created a different proxy endpoint uh, called v2echo and we're going to update the base path. So uh, update the base path XML. So I'm going to give base path as slash v2 slash echo. So we have created a new API with an endpoint slash v2 slash echo where you can attach policies and modify the behavior of the API. So let's uh, click on uh, preflow and then add a policy in the response flow of the v2 echo endpoint. So we're going to add a simple policy like JSON to XML, which is going to convert JSON response into XML response. That means we are exposing two APIs out of this echo API proxy. One will give JSON, another will give XML. Let's save this and test it out. Once API proxy is saved, go to overview screen. Now you should see multiple endpoints. As you can see here, now we have v1 slash echo and there's also v2 slash echo. Let's switch on trace and uh, see different APIs from the same API proxy, which will give different responses. As you can see, if I make an API call to slash v1 slash echo, I'm gonna get the JSON response. If I make an API call to slash v2 slash echo, I'm, I got XML. As you can see, when v1 slash echo got executed, there is no policy that executed in the proxy endpoint uh, response flow. But when you see v2 slash echo, the JSON to XML policy got executed and we got XML output instead of JSON. So that's how you can able to leverage the proxy endpoints to expose new kind of APIs for the same target uh, endpoint and change the API behavior and expose different APIs to different clients who is consuming these APIs. If you have any question, please feel free to post your questions in community.apg.com. Subscribe to YouTube channel to get notified of any future videos and uh, share this video with your colleagues and friends. Thank you.